Hello Women Talk Directors. Um, this is a tutorial on how to uh, use your PowerPoint presentation every month. Uh, this PowerPoint presentation will be loaded in your 2018 file folder on Google Drive and uh, you also will have access to each individual slides on a, another Google Drive folder which is called Forms. So if ever one of your slides is lost, you can go there and download it as well. Now, um, I'm going to start screen sharing and we're going to go, um, uh, let me see here, we're having some issues with, um, let me see, let's start, oh, there we go, screen share. And now we are in the screen share. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so this is the first slide. Now all of the slides on your PowerPoint presentation are going to be JPEG, which means you cannot change any of the slides. There are a couple of slides which I'm gonna show you in this presentation that you will add to. Whenever you add anything to a slide, I want you to use Verdana Bold text uh, font so again when you write anything on any of those slides always use verdana bold black for font okay so let's get going so this is your first slide your welcoming slide and that one always stays the same you don't need to change anything uh, let's move to the next slide. The second slide is your team. Now we just happen to have medicine hat on here, which is only one person, but this slide will list all of the directors in your city. The next slide is all of your, our social media, uh, tags and following and Facebook and Twitter and all that. Again, you do not need to change anything on this slide. The next one is our national corporate sponsor. Same thing, this is a JPEG file. You do not change anything. This one here, your local corporate sponsors. This is where you can, ha can add a logo of your corporate sponsor if we happen to have missed it. So if we have missed it and we're missing a corporate sponsor logo, here is how you do it. You go to insert, picture and then of course you would go and find uh, wherever you have uh, put your corporate sponsor logo you would shape it and of course always have everything lined up so that it looks professional I am um, very sticky about this I need everything to look professional everything should line up everything should not have a background if you have any issues with a logo uh, that we haven't added to your slide, contact me and I will help you remove the background. But as a general rule, this is uh, um, how we want our slides to look. So let's go back to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it in this way, it's a bit easier. The next slide is, it talks about corporate sponsorship opportunities and you do not have to do anything. And then we move on to our motivational talker of the evening. Now this is a slide where you need to add your motivational talker. And here's how I want you to do it. You're gonna come over here at the top and we're gonna click insert. You're gonna go to picture. And then you're gonna find the picture of whoever is doing your motivational talk that night. So let's say for example, it was me. So you just get a regular picture um, what I need you to do is you come up here and you make sure that uh, your picture is square. So this one is a little bit longer than a square. So what you want to do is you're going to crop it. So when you click, click on the crop, oh, first you got to click on the picture, then click crop. And you see these little black lines that have appeared and that will crop your picture. So you want to make it square and you'll know why in a minute. So we're going to make it pretty square, you can remove some of that extra stuff. Once the picture is looking square within these little black lines and you see the rest of it is highlighted, you're gonna go back and click crop. And now we have a square picture. Once you have the square picture, 
you're going to come here and click on format and you're going to if you click on the little uh, line here you see that you have different ways of formatting your picture there's many and this is a really cool um, little uh, program that we have within inside PowerPoint what I want you to do is I want you to use the circle with the black outline and then we're going to um, shape it to the size that we want we move it over and then we're going to insert so you go to insert and then a text box and we're gonna write the name of the person. So Bridget, whoops, Lissard. I can't even write my name. <laughs> DL. Oh, that's funny. It added the K. So once you have the name, uh, you're going to highlight it. You're gonna come up here and you're going to go to Verdana. So here's Verdana, and we're gonna go bold, and then the color, we're gonna go black. And then you wanna make it big enough so that it's nice and visible to everyone. And again, we line it up with the middle of the picture. You can add a website so that people know where to find this person or the name of their companies and you want to center everything so this is where you center it so there we go we have our motivational talker and this is how i want the slide to look the next one your volunteers same thing again uh, you're going to add the picture uh, and you want to put it within a circle and if you have more than one you're going to have both picture up in the slide lined up with their names below in Verdana bold then you're gonna get your talker uh, sometimes some of our talkers have a PowerPoint sometimes they don't so it's always good to have a slide with their pictures and their name if they don't have a PowerPoint presentation you can have a picture of them up there now where do you find a picture of your talker nice and easy that would be on our Facebook page. It's a very easy way to find a picture. If you go to your Facebook page, I'm in Medicine Hat, and I'm going to go to Events, and I'm going to find my event for the evening. So right now we're doing March 8th, so we're going to click on here, and now you are inside the event. Now for every event, we always post the talker information. So you click on Discussion, and then you'll see that both talkers are on here so that people can find out about them. So you're gonna click on the picture and then you're going to wait, at, you're going to click on option at the bottom of the picture here and you're gonna click download. And that's going to download a picture in your download, which now you can go back to your PowerPoint. You're gonna click insert and then on picture and then you're gonna go and find the picture you just downloaded. Now let's go over this exercise again so that you remember you need to make the picture square and I'll show you why. If you don't make it square, see how the circle is long and skinny? So I'm going to undo what I just did. I'm gonna to go to crop again and then I'm gonna lower the top a bit. I'm gonna lower the bottom quite a bit and then I'm gonna click on crop and now I will click on the circle and see now we have a circle that's a little more proportionate to what we want. Then we're gonna go back to insert, I mean, sorry, to home. I lied, insert, I was right the first time. And then we're gonna click on text box. And then we're going to um, write the name. Can't remember her last name now, but that's irrelevant. And then a website. So that would be their website. And again, you want to center, you highlight the text, you want to center it, you want it to be Verdana bold, black, and big enough for everyone to see it. And the size of it depends on the person's name. Now, sometimes we can make the website a little bit smaller. So we can go 
16 so that it looks good. And then you're going to go and drag it until you see that little red line, which means you're centered. And I would probably move this over a bit. So that's done. So now you have your first talker information. The next slide is applied to talk. You don't have to do anything. Then we're going to have our 20 minute break slide. Again, you do not need to do anything here. Uh, we'll have the appropriate slide on here for you. Open a chapter slide. You don't have to do anything. Char National charity of choice. Again, don't have to do anything. Local charity of choice. If you do not have one, we're just going to have the blank slide as you are talking about um, asking people to help you find a local charity of choice. Apply to be in our podcast. Nothing to be done on here. My slide, nothing to be done on here. Now, sometimes I will insert some slides for my talk. So obviously, you don't have to touch that. The next slide after my talk is uh, become a talker, a member. You don't have to do anything. And on here, it lists everything that you're talking about. And then while you're talking about the membership, this is the slide with the price to um, have a membership. Uh, Women Talk and Cook, that's our book. You don't have to do anything. Now, um, this is now your second talker. So on here, you do the same thing that we did for our first talker. So you're going to insert the picture, make it square, put it inside the circle. And then the very last slide that you have is your talkers for next month, your next month event. So again, you want to um, have this centered and you're going to highlight it, Verdana Bold, and write the date of your next event and the name of your talkers. Now, if you are able to get to your slide for next month's event, which is not uploaded right now uh, on Medicine Hat because uh, we still have uh, over 24 hours, but your slide should be uploaded um, for your event, so uh, whether it's, uh, so you would go back to your uh, Women Talk Facebook page, and then when once you're on your page, you go to events. Actually, let me go to the Edmonton one because that's tonight, and we might be able to, Edmonton, and uh, Women Talk Edmonton. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the event. And once you are at the list of event on your Facebook page, the night of the event, uh, see it's not uploaded yet, but the night of your event, you would see here uh, that your April event would be on there. So once you click on the page and you get to the event, you click on the event banner, and you do the same thing as the picture. You go option, download, and it will download the event picture. Then you go back to your PowerPoint, you click insert picture, and then you go to your downloads. Oopsie, and here's the picture it just downloaded, and you see it fits perfectly. So you don't have to do anything. If you are not able to get to your next month's talker event picture, again, you just write their name and the date of your event. So that's it for me. Uh, again, you go to your uh, Google file folder and you will find your PowerPoint presentation. And every month, uh, you just adjust your PowerPoint so that it's re relevant to this particular month. Thank you for watching. I'm Bridget Lissard, founder of Women Talk.